Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we shall see how to password protect your personal files and folders on Windows computer without using any third party softwares. So let's see how we can do that. So let's say this is a folder. I have kept this folder on my desktop to make it easier to explain and now I want to lock these three files. So the first thing that we need to do is just open notepad and in the notepad you have to copy and paste these commands. I have kept these commands in the description of this video and then copy these commands and then paste them in your notepad and then after that you have to click on file, click on save as and then you have to select the folder in which you have those files and folders that you want to lock. For my case, inside the test folder, I have those files that I want to lock. So I am saving this notepad file in that folder. Now let's give it a name. Let's say I'll just write lock and then dot bat because we want to save this file as a Windows batch file and not as a text file. So make sure to add this dot bat and then click here on text documents and then make it all files because we don't want to save it as a text document and then just click here on save now if we return to our folder you can see that these are the files that i wanted to lock and then this is the batch file that we have created just now now just double click on your lock file and then one new folder is going to be created with the name private now whatever files you want to lock you just have to drag and drop inside that folder like this I'll just drag and drop all the files inside this private folder and don't drag and drop the lock.bat file. It has to be kept outside. Once you have kept all the files inside the folder and then you want to lock this folder, you can double click on your lock.bat and then it's going to ask are you sure to lock this folder. Then you have to type Y and hit enter and your files are going to be locked just like this. Now if you want to open your private folder once again then you have to double click on this lock.bat file and then you have to enter the password to open that folder. Now the password is something that you can set in your notepad. This is the default password. So I have not changed the password. This is the place where you have to write your own password. Let's say I'll just make it pass 123 and then just control S to save it and then we don't need this file. I'll just close it. So this is the batch file that we need to run to unlock that folder. I'll click here and then enter password to unlock. The password that we have set is pass 123. Hit enter and the private folder is going to be visible once again. And these are the files. Let's lock this folder once again. I'll hit Y and enter. It is gone. Now you might be thinking that the files and the folders are not actually getting locked but they are just getting hidden. So in that case I'll just show you that the folder is not just hidden but it's locked also. So if you click here on this view button and then drag here to show and then come here you can see that the hidden items is already visible in my computer but still that private folder is not visible. So that means the folder is not just hidden but it's locked also that's the first thing then the second thing is this lock.bat file this has to be next to that private folder let's say i just drag and drop it on my desktop and let's say i try to run this lock.bat file then it's going to create a new private folder and if i open the private folder it's going to be empty because the files that we have saved is in a private folder which is inside this test folder and not here on the desktop. So you have to keep this log.bat file at the place where your private folder is. Now let me enter the password and let's quickly unlock the folder. And you can see that the files are here and this private folder which was created on desktop is empty. Now the problem with this approach is that anyone who is tech savvy who knows how to work with the computer can just right click on this bat file and then click here on edit in notepad and then they will be able to see the password that we have set here and then using this password they will be able to unlock your private folder. Now to take care of this problem 
what you can do is you can take out this log dot that file and not keep it at the place where you want the private folder to be hidden and that should do the trick for you because if we run this log dot bat file at other places it's going to create a new folder there and it will be hidden but it will not contain anything as you can see it from here this is the private folder on the desktop but it's empty it's not containing anything so that's one way to lock your files and folders on windows without using any external or third party softwares the more secure way to do this is by using a third party software so you can open your browser and then just search for winrar download and you can then open this link from here you can download this software once it is downloaded you can click here and start the installation like this click on install then just click on ok let's close these windows now let's say you want to password protect these two folders so you can just select them then right click and then you have to drag to this option winrar and then from here you have to click on add to archive from here you can choose a name for this archive let's say i want it to be test lock you can choose the format also whether you want it to be a zip file or a rar file and then from here you can see this option to set password you can click on it then from here you can enter a password for your file then you can just click on ok and then you have this option delete files after archiving which means these two folders will be deleted once this archive is created so you can just click on ok and you can see those two folders have been deleted and they have been added to this archive now if you want to open it you have to use the winrar archiver then whenever you try to open any folder it's going to ask password so that's all for this video i hope you learn how to password protect your files or folders on windows with a third party software and without any third party software don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching